What's up guys? I'm coming to you with another triaxle. This one is going to be a crazy before and after on this. This is a 2006 Kenworth W9 that we're going to polish everything on. This truck is not one of those, you know, only run in the summertime type of trucks. This one's been worked. So check this baby out. Big body on it. She coming to us nice and dirty. We're gonna get this baby pressure washed down. That's your current situation. We'll go right through. Nice sharp truck. This thing is gonna look completely different than what it looks like now. Probably unrecognizable once she's done. So we're gonna get get her get her going. Uh, customer said they got a new box here, both these. So we're not gonna be tackling them. I would assume he's gonna do something stainless. Other than that, I'm gonna dig right into this thing. Probably break out that 220. So stay tuned. This is gonna be next week's project. Things gonna come out killer. We're back with an update on the dump truck. The guys killed it yesterday on the sand and you gotta see it. Unbelievable the amount of sand and going into this truck. I mean, she is rough, but it is gonna shine so good. Look at the amount of sandpaper in here. I mean, it's, it's deep, it's deep. But that's what you gotta do to get something like this sanded down and get it right. You gotta get all that crap out. These east are a real pain in the butt because of the welded joints. It kind of holds your sandpaper off in the main panel. So there's a little extra sand in there. I mean, we're sanding this thing so heavy. Some of the welds are literally starting to disappear. We're doing the, uh, the 220, 320, 600, all on rotary. Really ripping it down. It's gonna look good. I mean, this gate, oh man. This gate is gonna be a challenge. It's still probably gonna have a decent amount of, I guess you can call it patina. Um, it's just gonna have some, some scars in it. It's still gonna shine good. It's gonna be hard to get some of the detail stuff to match where we can sand. That's always a trick with old metal. Uh, like something like this, like you can sand the crap out of this as hard as you possibly can but you're not gonna sand in here as hard as you possibly can. You're probably not gonna be able to sand it all in there. Um, so we just blend it out the best we can. I mean, look at the difference. Look at that versus that. You can almost start to get a reflection in the sanding. We've sanded it down so much. It looks really looking good and smooth. You can see that, see these up and down lines here? That's actually the grain of the natural metal. We're taking all that out, plus all the other crap. Still gonna have some rock chips in there. It looks like this thing was loaded with an excavator most of its life due to the amount of damage from about maybe 10 feet to the back of the truck. The rest isn't too bad, but it's part of the game this truck was a work truck for most of its life. Customer is putting a good amount of money into it. It's got a bunch of new stainless up in the front, new bumper, grill, you know, uh, headlights and visor and a couple new lights. We're probably gonna cut the air cleaners on it, get it looking right. The uh, the little red Pete over here, she's she's really nice, clean little Pete. Little short hood, 379. Um, I don't know if they actually had a number for that or if it's just a 379 short hood, but I might. I don't know all the trucks perfectly. I'm not quite educated. I try my best, but 
I'm worried about polishing them, not what model they are. So this is a super clean old truck. Nice old guy owns it. He takes real good care of it. It doesn't run in the winter at all. We actually polished it a couple weeks ago. And it's just been hanging out around the shop. You might have seen it. And uh, he's coming to pick it up today. So we're going to run through. We'll do, we'll do some of the, the final touches on it. Wipe it down. We're going to put a coat of the Zephyr uh, ceramic spray wax on the paint. Help protect that. Get it all shined up. Get the tires juiced up. Get the whole truck wiped down. It's got a hell of a layer of dust on it. Um, like this truck, it was in here one day. I mean, the guys, you know, cleaned up these so you can see where their rags dragged across the fenders a little bit and took that layer of dust off of there. That's one day in here. Just lots, lots of dust. So we're gonna get this peat button up first thing this morning and uh, get it get it cleaned up, ready to go out the door. And then uh, we're gonna go from there. I'm pretty excited to get back working on the dump truck. Let's see what we end up with. I'll keep you guys posted. Oh yeah, need you unloading the lift. It's a mountain of sandpaper. Still haven't touched that gate, but getting some cutting done. If you watch any of my videos, you know the cut is going to look like a mess. Very messy, but it's more about, this even has a layer of sand and dust on it. But it's got clarity. Just got to keep rolling with it. A couple more steps. It's going to look like a whole new truck. We're working, uh, this side's all sanded, some of this side getting cut out, got the wheels going, feeling look hot. Back at it, at the shop, actually in the office going over scheduling. Got, uh, every day one or two guys are reaching out and scheduling. Right now we're booking out pretty far, which is really nice. Um, just wanted to say I appreciate you guys watching the videos and, and checking them out. It's going pretty good. So let's go for a little ride. We're going to check out the dump truck. Yesterday we got, we got a lot of the cutting done on the sides. And all the sanding on the sides is done. I was working on a couple of the wheels. We still haven't tackled that tailgate yet. Uh, that's going to be on today's agenda. So let's go check it out. With polishing, everything looks like a mess until you're done. So the sanding, you're like, oh my God. It almost looks like you destroyed the thing, but not even close. That's just what it's going to look like when you start. This is primary cut. Again, looks like a mess. Tons of hash, tons of buff lines. We're going to go through, get all that cleaned up. Start working on the wheels. They're looking much better. They were pretty rough shape too. That tailgate, that is going to be a challenge, but we'll get it looking right. Got a bunch of cutting done over here, you know, again, just that first cut. I don't know how many times I can say it. I know I say it a lot because I don't want you guys to be like, that doesn't look that good, Jared. Um, it kind of looks like shit, which it does kind of look like shit right now, but it's going to, it's going to be nice. I promise. We're going to get it outside. It's going to look like a whole different truck. Again, with polishing, a lot of times it's kind of what you start with. You can sand things down, um, you know, as much as possible. But, you know, something like this where, 
You know, I don't know if something was bolted on here. It probably had like a, a roll tarp at some point. Um, but like, what do you? What are you gonna do with that? You, there's nothing you can do unless like you welded it, grind it on it, tried to straighten it out. But we're not. We don't do that at my shop. Um, we just kind of sand down as, as much as we can with what we got. The customer is gonna be more than happy with this, especially at the price point we're at with it. It's it's gonna be crazy. The transformation. He's gonna love it. So. We're gonna keep rolling with it. Uh, we're working on a couple sets of American Forces. These aren't, aren't done either. This is just kind of cut out. Back sides, front sides. Those are looking good. Chris was running the wheel machine yesterday. These were old, old pretty beat up Durabrites. Looking really good. He's got those all cleaned up. Guys will be here soon, and we're gonna we're gonna really kick ass today. It's Wednesday. Really hammer down on this body. Try to get it to where I can start laying down some secondary cut and some coloring, and then uh, we'll be off for the. We're actually off next week. Uh, I'm on vacation, so that's gonna be nice, but first you gotta put in the work. Work first, play later. So we're gonna get this truck done this week and uh, we'll be off. And then once we come back from vacation, it's gonna be game on because up here in the Northeast, the weather is gonna start changing. Our schedule is full and it's gonna be truck after truck after truck. I can't wait. We got a lot of good stuff on a lot of good stuff on the agenda. I'm really excited about a couple new customers, a couple guys that have been around for a long time and I appreciate those guys. So, we'll talk soon. See you guys. All right guys, we just pulled the dump truck out. It's really looking good. It's all buttoned up. What a huge difference. Really came out nice. The guys really sanded the crap out of this one. What's your opinion, Chris? That was a lot of sanding. A lot of sanding? Too much. Too much. He loved it. Every minute of it. Yeah. So, customers got one more step. They're getting a new one. The gate. We did our best. Not perfect, but at least it's shiny. A lot of patina in that. Obviously, did all the wheels. Again, customers got new boxes, all stainless steel going down low there. That's really gonna set it off. The truck has come such a long way. New bumper, grill, visor, headlights really came out nice we we hit all the stainless cleaned all that up the best we can but pretty impressed that we can take something so so crummy and get that type of quality out of it all right guys thanks for watching stay tuned because we got lots more to come